Hello viewers welcome to Seek Wisdom Today we are presenting the audio book on a whiteboard animation of the most influential book as a man think it This will be a series with each video presenting one chapter Words of this book have helped millions for more than a century and they continues to point the true way to a better life for a troubled humanity Hope you enjoyed it. Let's get started with the first chapter. Chapter 1 Thought and Character. The aphorism as a man thinketh in his heart so is he not only embraces the whole of a man's being but is so comprehensive to reach out to every condition and circumstance of his life. A man is literally what he thinks. his character being the complete sum of his thoughts as plant springs from and couldn't be without the seed so every act of a man springs from the hidden seeds of thought and couldn't have appeared without them this applies equally to those acts called spontaneous and unpremeditated to those which are deliberately executed act is the blossom of thought and joy and suffering are its fruits thus does a man garner in the sweet and bitter fruitage of his own husbandry thought in the mind hath made us what we are by thought was wrought and built if a man's mind hath evil thoughts pain comes on him as comes the wild ox behind If one endure in purity of thought joy follows him as his own shadow sure man is a growth by law not a creation by artifice and cause and effect is absolute and undeviating in the hidden realm of thought as in the world of visible and material things a noble and godlike character is not a thing of a favor or chance but is the natural result of continued effort in the right thinking the effect of long cherished association with godlike thoughts and ignoble and bestial character by the same process is the result of continued harboring and groveling thought man is made or unmade by himself In the armory of thought he forgets the weapon by which he destroys himself he also fashions the tools which he builds for himself heavenly mansions of joy and strength and peace by the right choice the true application of thought man ascends to the divine perfection by the abuse and wrong application of thought he descends below the level of the beast between these two extremes are all the grades of character and man is their maker and master of all the beautiful truths pertaining to the soul which have been restored and brought to light in this age none is more gladdening or fruitful or divine promise and confidence than this that man is the master of thought the modeler of character and the maker and shaper of condition environment and destiny as being of power intelligence and love and the lord of his own thoughts man holds the key to every situation and contains within himself the transforming and regenerative agency by which he may make himself what he wills man is always the master even in his weaker and most abandoned state but in his weakness and degradation he is the fullest master who misgoverns his household when he begins to reflect upon his condition and to search diligently for the law upon which his being is established he then becomes the wise master directing his energies with intelligence and fashioning his thoughts to fruitful issues such is the conscious master and man can only thus become by discovering within himself the laws of thought
which discovery is totally matter of application, self-analysis and experience. Only by much searching and mining are gold and diamonds obtained. And man can find every truth connected with his being. If he will dig deep into the mine of his soul. And that he is the maker of his character. The molder of his life. And the builder of his destiny. He may unerringly prove if he will watch control and alter his thoughts, tracing their effect upon himself, upon others and upon his life and circumstances, linking cause and effect by patient practice and investigation and utilizing his every experience even to the most trivial everyday occurrence as a means obtaining that knowledge of himself which is understanding wisdom power in this direction as in no other is the law absolute that he that seeketh findeth and to himself the knoweth it shall be opened for only by patience practice and ceaseless importunity can a man enter the door of the temple of knowledge here completes the first chapter hope you like this video please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for the latest updates next chapter of this book shall be uploaded soon